Ahem. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Chill. What your favorite waifu slash husbando says about you in Demon Slayer. Let's begin. You're probably the type of person that gets deceived by looks so easily. Just so easily. Your ass goes to the club thinking you brought yourself back a fine ass female. Then you wake up with a grown ass man, okay, stroking up and down your arm in your bed the next morning. Your ass sees a fine ass girl at the party, okay, and so you invite her over for some sloppy toppy. Next thing you know, she pulls out her pee pee. Okay, instead of pulling out yours, you get caught really easily, okay? And you need to fix that before James Charles has a field day with your ass, bro. I'm just saying. You're probably the type of person that doesn't fear jail or being incarcerated because this is a whole case, okay? You're gonna get five to ten for this easy. But Cap, it's okay because I'm like 14 years old and she's like 14 years old too, so I won't get in trouble, right? Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. What's up now? What's up? What's up now, Chief? You, you 14 years old. You got this, bro. It's okay. Nah, but I ain't trying to smash now because she like five years old, and that would be pretty messed up for me to do anything. No, no, no. Keep that exact same energy. You wasn't talking about that earlier when you were mentioning her titty. Just because you like 13, 14, don't mean that your penis is immune from the law, okay? She can mighty morph and power ranger herself into a five year old. At will. But go ahead, go ahead. Continue to think that nothing is wrong until your ass go to jail and Kakashi Snitch 9 is your roommate. Okay, I can't wait to see that. Clearly, drugs don't seem like they're a problem at all within your relationship. Okay, I'm just saying. I want you to just look at his eyes. Just look how open his eyes are. This guy looks like he's been trying to cast a Genjutsu like his whole life. Like, I, there's no way your eyes are that open for no reason. <laughs> At least just don't believe him when he says that it's a prescription, okay? Because there's no way you're going to look like that. Imagine you giving him sloppy toppy and he's just staring at you with those eyes the entire time just like that. Like, like wouldn't you feel weird? You're probably the type of person that doesn't mind being cheated on with somebody else, okay? And, like, I, I don't understand that. Clearly, okay, you must be delusional as shit. You think all this titty that she got, okay, is not going somewhere else? I mean, she's got so much titty... She could just hand them out as coupons to any individual she wants to. I like your shirt. So, here, take some titty. Oh, we're from, like, the same city? That's so cool. Uh, here's some titty. She got five, six different niggas at a time, okay, just juggling her fun balloons. I don't know how you're not gonna just, like, think about that every single day. But you do you, boo-boo. I mean, you got it. For anyone trying to claim this guy, I hope you know that this dude has, like, three different wives. Three. As in, like, Trey. As in, like, Treyway. Treyway! Two of them ain't, like, body pillows or anything either, you know what I'm saying? Like, these girls are legit. I've rarely seen a man pull this off openly, successfully, without, like, getting stabbed at some point. I'm just saying. You either gotta be Blueface, the Prince of Saudi Arabia, or the dude from Sister Wives to even have a chance at keeping your life, okay? Just for the record, okay, I blame Taylor Swift breakup songs as the leading contributor to this. Before they came along, okay, no female was trying to eighth form slash my ass into pieces. Now they're all trying to do it. Like, like I don't understand. Not that I have anything against Michael Jackson or anything like that. It's just that, you know, even if I was a female, I just wouldn't be able to stand the hee hees like every single day. I'm just putting that out there. I mean, can you just imagine waking up every single morning with him being like, Annie, is you okay? Um, uh, you said what? Said Annie, is you okay? Um, yeah, I'm kind of good. I, I got a little bit of a headache, so maybe try not to. Are you okay, Annie? Um, yeah, I'm okay. Are, are you okay? You're not at a concert, so you don't gotta, like, do all You've been hit by a, a headache. A headache, like like I told you, right? Can you just tune it down? Just like a smooth criminal. Okay, my headache is completely fine now. I'm good. Just keep your thriller singing ass away from me, okay? Just stay away from me as far you the type of person that's just not willing or down to do anything, okay? And that kind of makes you a buzzkill, not gonna lie. Like a single raindrop falls from the sky, and yo ass acts like it's an apocalypse, talk about I ain't going outside today. Like he just has that face where it's like, well, I ain't gonna do shit, like you figure it out. Like for example, hey honey, can we go out for dinner tonight? Nah, you can just get the delivery and just pay for it. <laughs> There's no way you gonna allow me to do that, so how the hell you gonna allow him? Like it, like, it don't make no sense. 
You're probably the type of person that lives by the waifu and dies by the waifu, okay? And that's okay, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do it too, especially if it's Shinobu, okay? Like, this the waifu of my waifu, okay? No cap. <laughs> Shinobu the type of female where it's like, even if Drake DM'd her, asking her for sloppy toppy, she would still stay faithful to me. Even with all the Drake clout, okay, knocking at her door. And that's why, one day, I know that- DeAndre, play the sad demon slayer music, what you doing? And that's why, one day, one day I'll find her and she'll be just as loyal as Shinobu. It don't even matter what she look like. You know what I'm saying? Like that don't, well maybe just a little bit of titty. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just pop it up. But like, they don't even matter. That's just materialistic. I know you haven't met me and I never met you, but I can feel our souls are linked together in our heart. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't talking about no bleach though. I know you out there. So I'll always keep searching for you. No matter what. This is our destiny. Or you could just slide into my DMs on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? It saves me gas money. I don't gotta drive all the way to you, try to find you and, and all that stuff, and we can just get it popping. I wanna beat that pussy up, so. Anyways, guys, that is what your favorite waifu slash husbando says about you in Demon Slayer, okay? This usually is the part where I say please don't feel offended, but there's always one person in the comments that somehow feels offended, okay? So I'm not gonna do that. But if you guys have not liked the video yet, make sure you do me a big favor and hit that like button. Let's see if we can get a thousand likes on this video like we always have been doing my Demon Slayer brothers and sisters. Matter of fact, if we can get a thousand likes on this video, I will drop part six or, or is it seven? I don't even know what part we're on. I do too many of these videos as fast as I possibly can. Okay, it'll be up. So make sure you sub to the channel first form slash that notification bell. Here at the captain's crib, you will be protected. Okay, I promise you with light skin power. So make sure you go ahead and do that. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace. Titty! Like Jonathan Dio, Brand, don't kill how many feel like Joe Star, whole star. DS wants be punk. I will buy my go kart, real kart. There's another Pokemon Go that shit won't go far. Shit. Rubber niggas all about the money, never late to this shit On time is money, dice it honey, ice it honey I